Hello and welcome to another edition of Rock's Garage. I'm your host Kevin. On this episode, we're going to show you how to install an LED light kit, part number LGT305L, on this 2011 Club Car DS. Now keep in mind that during this installation, we've already installed the deluxe wire harness as well as voltage reducer. Feel free to check out those videos to get an insight on how those are installed. Now before we get started, we want to show you what's included with your light kit, as well as all of the tools necessary to perform the installation. Now here are the items that are included with your light kit. First we have a pair of tail lights, a pair of headlights, wiring harness, mounting hardware, and instructions that also include templates. Now that we've shown you what's included in the box, let's take a look at the tools necessary to perform the installation. The tools that we'll be using throughout the installation are some painter's tape, a permanent marker, a file, you could also use some sandpaper in place of a file, a jigsaw, you could substitute a Dremel tool in place of the jigsaw, a cordless drill with Phillips bit, a cordless drill, and a smaller drill bit used to drill pilot holes. Now that we've discussed all the tools that we will be using, we're ready to begin our installation. Now before getting started with the installation, it's important that if you're working with an electric cart that you place your tow run switch in the tow position. Also, if you're going to be doing a complete installation of the light kit and wire harness and voltage reducer, you want to be sure that you disconnect your battery pack on an electric or your 12 volt battery on a gas cart. Now you may have noticed that we did not demonstrate how to disconnect the battery pack. This is because we already have our voltage reducer and deluxe wiring harness installed. The purpose of this video is just to demonstrate how to install our headlights and taillights. If you'd like to see us follow the safety procedures with disconnecting the battery pack, please check out the video for our wire harness or voltage reducer installation. Now to get started, we're going to be on the driver's side of the cart. We want to take our template, line up the template with the body of the cart. Once we have all the lines in place, we're going to secure it using some painter's tape. After that, we're going to draw out the inside and then we can begin cutting in our headlight. And once you have your template traced on the body of the cart, you want to take a small drill bit and drill four pilot holes, one in each corner. That will allow your jigsaw or Dremel tool to get in and cut out along the line so that you can install your headlight. Now the next thing we're going to do is to use a jigsaw to cut out our template so we can install our headlight. Now if you're more comfortable using a Dremel tool, you can feel free to substitute that in place of a jigsaw. Once you have your template cut out, you want to grab your headlight and check for proper fitment. If everything fits, you want to pull the headlight out and smooth out any of the rough surfaces using a file or sandpaper. If it doesn't fit, you need to trim away any of the excess necessary until you get proper fitment. You want to repeat this step until your headlight fits securely. And once you have it set up so that your headlight fits properly, you want to fish your headlight connector into the opening. Now you want to make sure that if you're using a deluxe harness that you have the side that's labeled driver side headlight connector. Once you have your connector routed to the opening, we're then going to install our headlight assembly. Now if you're going to be using the high beam feature, you want to connect the male bullet connector from your headlight assembly to the female bullet connector on your deluxe wire harness. Once you have your headlight assembly installed, you're going to secure it in place using four of the mounting screws provided with your light kit. Once your headlight is installed, you want to move over to the passenger side, take the template, flip it over, and repeat these steps.
After you have both headlights installed, you may notice that you have some excess wiring hanging down. Now at this time you want to leave that wiring loose until after we've tested the functionality of our headlights and taillights. Now at this time we're going to move to the rear of the cart so that we can install our taillights. For our taillight installation, we're going to follow similar steps to what we did on the front for the headlights. Now we want to start on the driver's side, taking our template, lining it up with the body lines on the cart. Once you have it in place, we're going to tape it down and then we'll trace the inside with a permanent marker. After that's done, we want to drill out a pilot hole in each corner and then we can cut it out using our jigsaw or Dremel tool if you're more comfortable. After that's complete, you want to test fit your light. If it doesn't fit, you want to go ahead and open up the hole larger until your tail light fits properly. After you've done that, you can smooth any of the rough edges and then we'll be able to permanently install our tail light. And once you've ensured proper fitment of your taillight, you want to go ahead and route the taillight connector into the opening, plug your taillight in, and then you can secure it in place using the provided hardware that's included with your light kit. Once your driver's side taillight is installed, you can move over to the passenger side of the cart Take your template, flip it over, and repeat these steps. Now before hooking up power to your light kit, you want to make sure that your headlights, taillights, and all other accessories have been installed. At that point, after hooking up power, then you want to test the functionality of all of your accessories and the headlights and taillights. Once you're satisfied with that, go back through and secure any of the loose wiring, making sure it's free of any moving parts. Now that we have our headlights and taillights securely installed, that'll complete the installation of our light kit, part number LGT305L, on this 2011 Club Car DS. Now also feel free to check out our videos for the installation of our deluxe wire harness, voltage reducer, and other various accessories tied along with this light kit. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.